Hey guys, welcome to this video showing you some of the new and exciting features of version 1.1 of Material UI. The base Material UI components now have an interactable option to control whether they are enabled or not. These include buttons, dropdowns, checkboxes, switches, radio buttons, input fields, and sliders. This option will set the base UGUI component's own interactable option, change the controls opacity, and the shadow opacity. If you want to customize a controlled disabled behavior, you can still manually modify the UGUI interactable setting and update the visual style yourself. We've also added a way to change the direction in which dialogues appear and disappear. Now you can define any direction you want. Instead of directly calling a show method from Dialog Manager, you can make one with create, initializer with the parameters you want, define the animator you want, including the direction, and finally call its show method. Dividers can now be created either horizontally or vertically. We've updated the built-in material design icon set to include 41 new icons that Google has added. It's now far easier to use advanced validation with input fields. You can either use some pre-made validators such as Empty Validator, or create your own by implementing iText Validator. If at any time you want to check if an input field's text is valid, just call isTextValid on your custom validator in your code. Input field now has an option to only display validation error messages on startup, like this input field, or when the input field is first clicked. There are now many different options when creating a panel from the Material UI menu. You can create a basic panel with its own size and no layout. One with a vertical or horizontal layout. A stretched panel that will take most of the space available in its parent. And a fitted panel that will resize to fit its contents. Material Ripple now has a Blend Amount option that is used when Auto Highlight is enabled. The highlight color will be affected by this Blend Amount. All the selection controls have been tweaked to include layout components and now correctly align themselves in a layout group or as part of a layout system. Finally, we've added a set page method to the tab view that can be used in the Unity event system in the editor. These are just examples of some of the larger changes. Be sure to check out the change log for more info. See you soon for more updates.